Online searching with Google is a skill that many underestimate. Every day Google handles billions of searches for users worldwide, but are Google users always doing a thorough job of looking for information online? In this tutorial, you will learn about the value of researching with Google, hear the top five tips to make your searching more efficient, and learn how to decide if your search results are reliable. Google's value. Google is great for finding quick facts or videos, but it is also useful for academic research. You can use Google as a starting point for your project to find general background information on a topic before refining your research question. You can also use Google to search for open access journal articles or gray literature, such as government reports, statistics, unpublished trials, conference proceedings, theses and dissertations, and more. Also, if you're working on a project and interested in learning more about a specific researcher, you can look them up to learn more about their work. Google can be a great tool to use in your scholarly research, so let's explore some tips to make your Google searching more efficient. Search tip number one, choosing terminology. The terms you choose for your Google search play a huge role in the precision of your results. You should use keywords that are the most likely to appear in your results and be very careful to avoid vague terminology or colloquial terms because they can impact the number and quality of your results. So instead of searching for rotten teeth as seen here, try searching for tooth decay to get a more useful set of results. Search tip number two, advanced searching. Try Google's advanced search feature to guide your search. From your search results page, click settings, then advanced search. Here you can specify exactly what words or phrases must appear in your results, as well as the file type you're looking for, and even what sites you want Google to search. Let's try to locate PDF documents on occupational safety from the Government of Canada. Type occupational safety in the this exact word or phrase field, then type .gc.ca in the site or domain field, and choose Adobe Acrobat PDF in the file type field. The results will now show PDF documents published on the Government of Canada website that discuss occupational safety. You can experiment with other features here such as time of last update, usage rights, region where the web page comes from, and more. To narrow down site or domain options, look at official websites you've trusted in the past and use those as your guide. You can also check out our handout on domain suffixes and file types that's found in the description below. Search tip number three, search filters. Google has many filters that can make your search results even more precise. Under the search box on your results page, images, news, videos, maps, and more appear by default. Click tools to see the other search filters such as all results and anytime, where you can narrow your results based on these criteria. If we search for Africville and click the Maps filter, we are shown results for this search in Google Maps. Search tip number four, conversions and calculators. You can access conversions and calculators without leaving Google. If you want to convert one unit of measurement to another, simply specify this in the search bar. For example, if we search 15 kilometers in miles, a converter will appear in the results. You can use this method for any units of measurement. If you want to find the unit converter in Google without searching something first, just type unit converter and run the search. If you need a calculator, you can search calculator in Google. You can also run a math problem in Google search bar, which will bring up the calculator along with the answer to your problem. In this example, we are searching 5x5, which Google has interpreted as 5 multiplied by 5. Search tip number 5, control F page searching. If you think you have found a useful search result and want to save yourself some time, press Ctrl F on your keyboard to bring up a search box if you're using Windows. If you're using a Mac, press Command F to get this same search box. In this box, type in some of your search terms to see if and where they appear in the result. Deciding if your results are reliable. It's important to recognize that not everything found on Google is accurate. The order of results doesn't indicate their credibility. They have been ranked by Google according to their own methods. A good tip to remember is that if you have found what you think is a good result, take a few more seconds and try the search again using some different keywords. You might be surprised to find more results that are appropriate for your question. Let's talk about some simple ways to evaluate the quality of websites. Things to watch for include authority. 
Who is in charge of updating the website and what makes them qualified to write about it? Next is the website's purpose. Does the website tell you its purpose and live up to that statement? Also, what kind of links are on the website and do these links match the site's purpose? Be wary of websites with minimal coverage of a topic and if there might be knowledge gaps that the author left out. Ask yourself about the website's currency. Is this information recent and can you trust that it's being updated regularly? Finally, consider the objectivity of a website. Is the website trying to sell you a product or convince you of a specific idea? If so, it might be a biased website. So have a look at the About page of the website to learn more. For more tips to help you decide if a website is reliable, see the link below to the craft test. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.